Welcome back guys to my channel and to another video of Mark's Fish Care. In today's video I want to do a quick update on my current uh, 55 gallon tank and my 36 gallon tank. As you know I'll be getting a 75 gallon tank pretty, not pretty soon but in the near couple months. But I will be making a video specifically about the 75 gallon so stay tuned if you like to see that one. But in today's video I want to do a quick update on my plants that will be planted a couple of weeks ago and I rescaped my 55 gallon tank and I also want to talk about my quarries as well because they're sick and I figured out what's wrong with them. So let's go ahead and get into it right away guys. Thanks again for all the support. So this is my uh, planted tank and as you see it's actually way more lush than it was in my previous videos and the reason for this is because I started adding my, uh, uh, what's, I forgot the name of it, one second, oh yeah, Flourish Excel, it just uh, helps a lot for the plants and everybody, so uh, that's why it's so green now and nice and everything started to grow again, but I will, the, the tank needs some trimming for sure, and as you see over here, this is the plant that I planted it was like half of the size it was this big when we planted it and now look how nice it looks and there's two more in the back over there yeah you see, over there right on the back so the plants are doing very good and uh, like all the other fish except my quarries I actually took out the two remaining quarries out of my uh, tank because uh, I noticed that uh, two of them uh, have some uh, uh, bubbles on top of their fins uh, it could be an uh, anything pretty much uh, it could be some sort of a disease or uh, sometimes uh, even if you have too much bubbles going on in the tank they can uh, something like gas bubbles can form on your fish so I just put them in my quarantine tank for now and I added some uh, aquarium salt of course and I will be monitoring the situation and hopefully those two guys can come back pretty soon they're actually over here for right now. I'm not too sure if you can see them very well, but I don't want to stress them out. But if you see, they're kind of moving around in the tank. Yeah, I don't want to stress them out a lot because they're already stressed out. So let's hope it will be good. But meanwhile, I'm not going to be buying any, any other fish, uh, any quarries for sure. And I'm not going to add anybody else because yesterday I noticed I had uh, more fry, more molly fry because they're breeding like crazy already and I managed to catch one more and there's two more roaming somewhere around in this large jungle which I cannot really catch them and to be honest I don't care too, too much about them at this point because they're mollies and they breed so much and I don't want to have this tank overstocked because uh, it can very easily happen and as you see that's these are my fry they're growing very fast and in a very very fast manner so I think that the fry starter food actually helps them way better than my other food so that's pretty much it for now for this tank and I will be probably trying to get uh, some neon tetras maybe a few more we'll see what's gonna happen in the future I will for sure let you know and now let's get uh, ahead and see my 55 gallon tank so here is the new look of my 55 gallon tank as you see my Siamese fighting fish over here he's doing very good actually no one is bothering him anymore and he found his own place and he's trying to stay away from shark and shark pretty much ignores him too because what I did I took away my old uh, ornament which is over here now I took it away from here so the shark doesn't really have a new territory right now so it doesn't really need feel the need to protect and everybody else are doing amazing in this tank like one of my lights like I said before I think is dimming and it's because uh, uh, some of the moisture got inside the light itself so I'll be changing bulbs pretty shortly here but I hope you like my new setup like I put this log like uh, sort of on the side over here and I made made it more like leveled so now the fish have more room to swim around they don't need a bigger tank at this point but like I said already I will be upgrading to a 75 since this stand can is designed for 75 so why not right I can easily upgrade and maybe even transfer this tank into a planted tank and I don't know what, what I'll be doing with this one maybe I'll just store it for a while I'm not sure guys but 
there's still a couple a lot of cool things to, coming up in on this channel so please stay tuned for it and uh, hope you will you enjoy my videos and like I said already I'm very grateful for all, all the comments and all the appreciations you're you're giving me and support so thanks again there is one more thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. I actually bought this little clipper today. I'm, I might be showing you, I will show this in my other video. It's for my salt water tank. This Omega One clipper is just very cool because it's designed to uh, hold my sea, seaweed in place. Uh, so because it's very hard to place seaweed, sometimes I have to put some uh, shells on top of it to, to keep it in the water so this will come very handy especially for my shrimp so they can easily come and feed uh, on the seaweed and also my other crabs and stuff so just a cool little thing it only costed me like two bucks but it sure worth it trust me and that's about it that I want in this video guys hope you enjoyed uh, my quick update and I hope everything is going well with you guys and have a nice day and see you in the next video. Peace.